Welcome to your roadmap to the latest in auto. Welcome to Highway Herald. Today, we're diving into a hot topic in the EV world. Despite the growing popularity of electric vehicles, they've been under fire for a variety of reasons, from range anxiety and reliability issues to steep price tags. But it seems there's more to the story. Health concerns are now part of the conversation. You might have seen the question, why do I feel sick in an EV, popping up on Reddit threads? So, we've decided to delve into the top five causes of motion sickness related to electric cars. Buckle up, let's get started. Cause number five, the reality of EV motion sickness, according to Reddit users. While motion sickness isn't new, it's typically associated with passengers unable to anticipate motion, especially with an aggressive driver. However, with electric vehicles, the issue seems to have escalated. Reddit users report frequent cases of motion sickness, including drivers struggling to adapt to features like instant torque and regenerative braking. Let's delve into some intriguing Reddit posts. One user, considering a Model Y as a family car, had a change of heart after a test drive left him feeling queasy. Another user, a seasoned EV driver, pinpointed regenerative braking as the cause of his motion sickness, particularly when he's a passenger. He lamented, I don't always have control of how it's being driven, so other people's driving really makes me sick. I really need to find a solution fast. Interestingly, it's not just humans struggling with EVs. Some users reported their pets also getting sick in EVs. One user shared, since buying the Tesla, my dog throws up in it almost every time. I've been trying to drive smoothly, but still doesn't seem to help. Experts like Dr. DJ Verrett, a Texas-based ENT specialist, agree with these claims. He explained that our brains create a model of what to expect in certain situations. In traditional cars, the revving engine signals acceleration, but in an EV, the lack of auditory and visual cues can lead to motion sickness. Cause number four, the sound of silence, a key contributor to motion sickness. Numerous studies have underscored the importance of anticipating motion as a preventive measure against motion sickness. In traditional cars, the engine's sound plays a crucial role. As the driver presses the pedal, the escalating noise signals our brain to brace for a more dynamic drive. However, electric cars present a challenge due to their silence, making it difficult to foresee what's next. Referencing the study, knowing what's coming, anticipatory audio cues can mitigate motion sickness. It's clear that the absence of sound is a significant factor contributing to motion sickness in EVs. The study found that conditions with informative auditory cues resulted in significantly lower average illness ratings compared to conditions without such cues. This insight, that auditory signals can enhance motion anticipation, could be vital in reducing car sickness, especially in the realm of autonomous vehicles. In essence, our bodies are conditioned to the noise and vibration of gas-powered cars, keeping us alert and ready for motion. With the quietness of EVs, our bodies often find themselves unprepared for sudden accelerations or changes in direction. This leads to the realization that quieter doesn't necessarily equate to more comfort and convenience contrary to popular belief. To address this, major EV manufacturers are striving to make the EV driving experience more akin to that of traditional cars. Many new models now produce artificial sounds to mimic exhaust noise, and some even feature paddle shifters to simulate gear changes despite most electric cars having a single speed transmission. Before we delve deeper, we'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to Highway Herald. Your support fuels our passion to create more content like this. Now let's explore cause number three, the role of built-in screens in motion sickness. One common gripe among drivers and passengers of modern cars is the shift from physical to digital controls. These vehicles rely heavily on large screens that manage everything from audio to climate controls. But the ease of use and user experience aren't the only concerns with digital controls. They're also a contributing factor to motion sickness. Electric vehicles are particularly notable in this regard. Take a peek inside a Tesla or any other EV, and you'll find massive computer-like screens dominating the dashboard. These screens control virtually every aspect of the car, and for passengers, this can be problematic. It's hard to ignore such large screens, and passengers often find themselves fixated on them instead of focusing on the road. This makes anticipating movement more challenging, leading to motion sickness. So, does this mean EV manufacturers are considering ditching these large screens? Unlikely. The reliance on modern tech features in EVs is not just about user experience. Swapping physical controls for digital screens is also a cost-saving measure, a crucial factor given that most automakers are grappling with making EVs profitable. Cause number two, regenerative braking, a double-edged sword. 
For years, we've been singing praises of electric vehicles, highlighting benefits like the one-pedal driving mode that lets drivers decelerate simply by easing off the accelerator. But as drivers gain more experience with EVs, they're becoming aware of the drawbacks of this system designed for convenience and regenerative braking. This system generates force through resistance when the throttle is released, helping to charge the battery and extend the vehicle's range. However, it seems there's a steep learning curve with this system. It requires drivers to be more gentle on the throttle pedal, as it functions more like a potentiometer than a binary switch. The issue with regenerative braking is that, due to inexperience, most drivers find EV rides feel more aggressive compared to traditional braking, especially in stop-start traffic. To address this, major EV manufacturers now offer adjustable regenerative braking systems with a range of settings. This allows drivers to, for instance, sacrifice a bit of range, lower the regenerative braking, and achieve a smoother ride. Monica Jones, an associate research scientist at the University of Michigan Transportation Research Institute and an expert in motion sickness, stated, One-pedal driving is a very different experience than combustion engines. Even if you learn how to effectively do one-pedal driving, uncertainty in the environment like traffic can still cause motion sickness. Cause number one, the power of instant torque. The driving experience in EVs is a world apart from that in internal combustion cars. With ICE cars, things are predictable, as gas engines take a moment to build power. When you press the pedal, the power and torque increase as the engine revs higher. But with electric motors, it's a whole different ballgame. Electric motors deliver an instant throttle response, making it much harder for passengers to anticipate acceleration. Furthermore, modern electric cars usually come with powerful motors, meaning that when you press the accelerator pedal, you're hit with a wave of seamless torque. Both passengers and drivers are unaccustomed to this immediate power, making it significantly harder to anticipate acceleration, leading to body confusion and motion sickness. Matt Farah, editor-at-large for Road & Track, said the combination of factors spells trouble. He said, the way an EV motor delivers power and the absence of sound are what make you feel dizzy going fast in one. Car makers are trying to address this issue in various ways, primarily by offering different drive modes with different throttle responses. For instance, Honda engineers are working on power mapping to ensure smoother rides at low speeds. The idea is to change the throttle map to emulate the acceleration of an ICE vehicle with a power lag and typical buildup. This could potentially ease the discomfort that comes with the immediate torque of an EV. However, it remains to be seen if passengers can actually feel any practical benefit from such revisions. Only time will tell. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to subscribe to Highway Herald for the latest vehicle updates and upcoming videos. See you next time.